Dogs. We love them, right? They are our family pets, our guardians, our protectors. They are man's best friend. But can a dog kill and eat you? Furthermore, can a dog kill and eat the owner? In this short video, I'm going to lay out some facts and then you can decide on your own what you think. After you watch the video, please comment below if you think that Bethany was killed by her dogs or by someone else. Is it really possible for a dog to switch one day on its owner just like that for no reason and kill and eat the owner? This is the question that I lay to you today. You're watching Project Dark Knight Horror and I am the Dark Knight. Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got a strange case for you. I wasn't going to upload this video, but it's been on my mind for about two months now. I actually made this and I did the research weeks ago and it's been on my mind ever since. I put it away in a drawer and I tried to forget about it, but it's just been bugging me. So I thought I'd upload it and I'd run it past all of my viewers. So please, after you watch this, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I've made up my mind, but it's always interesting to get the view of the public. So, this is Bethany Stevens, a 22-year-old woman from Goochland County, Virginia. And this is her two American pit bulls, three-year-old Tonka and Pac-Man. In December 2017, Bethany's body was found naked and dismembered on a small path in a field off Mannequin Road just a few minutes walk from her dad's house. Since her death, there have been conspiracy theories as to how she died. But there are also reasons why her death was suspicious, in the form of multiple death threats that Bethany got a few days before she died. So the question is, did the two dogs that Bethany raised as puppies all of a sudden just switch and kill her and eat her? Or did someone else kill Bethany while she was out walking her dogs? The same people or person who sent the death threats and then left her body in the field on the path. And then when the dogs were hungry, could it be possible that that was the reason why they started eating her? This is definitely a strange case and I just wanted to get your views. Her body was found naked and dismembered in 2017 in the woods on a path of Mannequin Road and conspiracy theories surround her death ever since. New information has been released in the tragic case of Bethany Stevens, the 22-year-old dog owner who was found dead. Police declared that she was killed by her own two dogs, one of which she raised since he was a puppy. And now there may be new evidence to back that up, but I'm not quite sure. And neither are Bethany's friends and family. Bethany's body was found naked and dismembered police say that they witnessed the dogs eating her and guarding her corpse, which was initially discovered by her father, who first mistook her body for an animal carcass. That's how bad the attack was. So apparently, her dad found the body and it was so badly mauled that it looked like an animal carcass or a roadkill. Can you imagine that? Finding the body of your loved one being mangled like that. She was supposed to go take care of her dogs at her dad's house and come back. But 22-year-old Bethany Stevens never came back. Bethany's dad made the gruesome discovery in a Goochland field. All I heard was, don't come down here, it's bad. There were various articles of clothing, underclothing scattered about the area, not far from the body, and torn into small pieces. There were patches of blood. Goochland Sheriff James Agnew described the scene as one of the most grisly he's seen in his 40 years of law enforcement. The victim had defensive wounds on her hands and arms trying to keep the dogs away from her, which would be consistent with being attacked while she was still alive. It appears that the first traumatic injury to her was to her throat and face area. The sheriff says that according to a preliminary report from the medical examiner, Bethany's two pit bulls, each weighing about the same amount as her, 125 pounds, killed their owner. There were no strangulation marks. The victim had puncture wounds in the skull, and this was not a homicide. 
A man who used to work with Bethany at a dog training facility told me Bethany was very experienced working with animals and loved her dogs. He said she had one of them named Tonk for a while, and he couldn't imagine him doing this. He said the other one was newer, but he thought it came from the same litter. Good job, buddy. Although Richmond veterinarian Dr. Amy Learn didn't know Bethany or her dogs. I think that the investigation needs to be ongoing. She believes many questions still need to be answered. Dogs don't typically just out of the blue attack their owners. So there's typically some kind of provocation. She says that provocation causes fear, which can cause aggression. But she wonders if there is more to the story. Was there somebody else there? Were they... Um, being attacked by somebody? Were they trying to defend themselves and their owner from somebody else, from a wild animal? Was it actually something else that attacked the owner? Were there stray dogs, coyotes, something else in the woods? When interviewed, Sheriff Jim Agnew had this to say. While we were on the scene thinking of strategies to catch the dogs, the dogs went back over to the body and Four of my sheriffs and I witnessed the dogs eating from the ribcage of Bethany's body. We managed to shoo them away before examining the body. The two dogs who killed Bethany were named Tonka and Pac-Man, and since the attack, they were put down. After the dogs were killed, the necropsies were completed on both of them. The results revealed that long, wavy human hair was located in the dog's stomach and intestines. Despite the details and the dogs eating her at the scene, there are still conspiracy theories about her death. A report was published in the International Business Times that people in Bethany's community of Goochland County are suspicious of her death. There were reports that she had received death threats just days before her death. But by who? Also, the hair that was found in the dog's body. It was obvious that the dogs were eating from Bethany's body, but did they kill Bethany? That is the question. And were they only eating from her body because they were hungry? That's the main reason why I've uploaded this video, to run it past you guys to see what you think. Bethany's boss, Tori Trent, had her own opinion, and this is what she said. These dogs did not do this, especially in the manner it was explained. And as one of the top canine behavior experts, I want to speak to any of the news stations and all investigating parties involved by speaking on and explaining canine behavior. We demand a true investigation. These dogs did not kill Bethany. So that's another person that says that these two dogs did not kill Bethany. Another one of Bethany's best friends called Barbara Norris said she does not believe that the two dogs would have done anything to hurt Bethany. She raised them with love since they were puppies. She said to WIRC News, she wasn't able to see the body, so she can't tell you what exactly happened. She can't tell you if Bethany died from blunt force trauma or from mauling, but she said she knows that those two dogs definitely didn't do it. Bethany had recently been receiving death threats just before she died. All her friends were aware of this and so was I. So the dogs were not to blame. I saw the dogs all the time and they never showed any aggression towards me. One of Bethany's dogs, the one she did not have since he was a puppy, was neutered and abused by a previous owner and was prone to biting. Police also claim that Tonka and Pac-Man appeared to look neglected. Sergeant Mike Blackwood of the Virginia Police Department had this to say, the dogs were a little bit neglected towards the end. Also, the dogs lived outside in the cold. Bethany would come to her father's house about five times a week to take the dogs out for walks. Because they only had contact with Bethany and each other, the dogs became more isolated and reverted to their wild behavior. Bethany had wounds on her hands and her arms, which meant she was alive during the attack, and she tried to fend it off. The first fatal injury was to Bethany's face and throat. Most likely, she was overpowered to the ground and lost consciousness, and then more to death. There were puncture wounds to the skull, where she was bitten. She was found naked and part of her face was eaten and there was a gaping wound in a rib cage where the dogs were feeding from. Many people have questioned how something like this could happen. According to research, dogs like pit bulls don't show any signs of aggression until it matures. In the case of Bethany Stevens, the dogs were three years old. Rumors were that Bethany's father neglected the dogs and didn't feed them or walk them and they were left on their own. 
Only Bethany cared for the dogs, which makes this case very strange. Like most animals, pit bulls and all dogs have a pack mentality. Normally the owner would be the pack leader, but because Bethany's dad neglected them, was it possible that they, they reverted to their natural state? Which meant the dogs were prone to bad behavior. It seems very weird to me that these two dogs would kill the person who looked after them and who would feed them. But on the other side of the argument, these two dogs were neglected, so who knows? The people closest to Bethany said she raised the dogs since they were babies and she loved and cared for them. According to Animal Control in America, there are about 20 calls a week for dog attacks, but in the last 50 years, there have only been about five cases where pit bulls have killed their owners. But that number is climbing. I've researched this story and a lot of people don't believe that Bethany was killed by her dogs and because of the death threats that she allegedly received, people think that she was killed while out walking her dogs. Popular belief is that the dogs were eating her because they were hungry. But what do you think? Bethany had been warned by the previous owner that Pac-Man was abused and known to bite, but she still took him in and loved and cared for him. No one can say for sure what really happened that day when Bethany took the dogs for a walk. There is a lot of speculation, but you can't blame the breed. Pitbulls are actually very sweet dogs and are very good family pets when given what they need. If looked after properly, pitbulls can be some of the best dogs you'll ever meet. Like all dogs, they must have a lot of exercise and a healthy, well-balanced diet and a lot of human contact. Right, this was just a short little video. I just wanted to run this past you guys. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you believe that these two pit bulls actually overpowered Bethany, killed her and then ate her? Or do you believe that Bethany was killed while out walking the dogs and then her body was left on the floor and then the dogs started eating from her body when they got hungry? And also she did receive death threats. If you guys have got any opinions or views, please leave it down in the comments. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people out there that don't agree with me. So if you love dogs, please like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're a fan of horror and you love ghosts, poltergeists, demons, torture methods, true crime, creepy pastors and the strange, dark and creepy, then Project Dark Knight is the channel for you. I'll be uploading more videos from now on, so look out for my next video. The next video will be about possession and the paranormal. So until then, you have been watching Project Dark Knight Horror, and I am the Dark Knight, signing off. Peace. Don't ever laugh as the hearse goes by, for you may be the next to die. They wrap you up in a big white sheet, from your head down to your feet. They put you in a big black box and cover you up with dirt and rock.